You know, I was perusing a website of a uh, pen dealer uh, that I go to often and have purchased from quite a bit over the past several years, and I found this particular pen for sale, and I was like, wow, you know, I didn't expect to see one of these. And it's pretty nondescript and generic in the box. You have no idea who it is, but it's made by a friend of mine uh, down in Texas. Well, let's take a look and see, because I we have several of his pens here in the house. Let's pull it out. Ah, Heinz, handcrafted pens. Jim Heinz, out of Texas. Uh, I like to consider Jim a friend of mine. We have a bunch of pens of his here in the house. I have purchased from him uh, regularly. My, my little boy, uh, Matthew, has purchased from him several times at pen shows. Uh, I think I counted it up. We got like seven of his pens. My wife has two of his. I've got three of his. And Matthew has two Jim Hines special pens. And one of the things I like about Jim, he's a custom maker. He can actually customize your pen the way you want. He's got several models. HinesPens.com. I'm going to pause right here and tell you that if you go to purchase from Jim Hines uh, on his website, HinesPens.com, you can get 15% off your purchase if you use discount code TROY. T-R-O-Y. There is my little ad. But uh, this particular pen is not, is not one of the newer pens. As a matter of fact, it's not even in this box. And that's one of the reasons uh, that was a clue to me that it was uh, not something modern, or I say modern, as in just recently manufactured by them, because actually I've got, I think, um, some of these older metal boxes that he had here, and he had a pen that was sitting right there. Well, that particular pen is right there there. Alright, so this was on the Peyton Street Pens website, and there was only one of them, and I saw a Jim Hines pen uh, at a really decent price, and I, matter of fact, less than I've paid personally for any Jim Hines pen. It was used, and it had a 1.5 stub nib on it. I said, well, alright, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Um, you know, it's not any model really that I'm familiar with and taking a look at some of his pens on his website It didn't really match totally um, any of his models that you're gonna find So what I did was I reached out to Jim um, And uh, just messaged him and I said hey Jim. I picked up this pen uh, And it's one of yours and it uh, was over at uh, you know a, a, a seller or a dealer and uh, you know, fairly decent price on it, and you know, it kind of looks like your Zeitgeist model, sort of, but not really. And uh, you know, that's the closest thing I can find. So, um, you know, wh what do you know about this particular pen? Interestingly enough, Jim and his uh, his partner uh, were able to uh, say, "Hey, you know, actually, we remember that pen. It's probably made in 2018, and they even remembered for whom it was made." So. Somebody apparently decided not to keep it and put it up for sale. So it ended up in the hands of a dealer in California, which made its way to where I sit here in North Carolina. Now that box, you can tell, this is one of Jim's modern boxes. This is what he's using, uh, or at least some of the, the, the last purchase that we made uh, from Jim was in a box like this, and it's a little magnetic close with a vinyl uh, feel to it. So that's one of the reasons I knew that it was uh, an older pen was from that older box. So 2018, you know, I've got some pens from Jim somewhere not too far off from there. One of the cool things about reaching out to Jim is he said it's really neat to see an older pen that he did because he is able to take a look at it and go, you know, it's neat to see how uh, both design and quality have improved over the years. And he's right. Uh, he really is. Uh, he has gotten, um, uh, it, for, for, for someone who can take a look at it and go, you know, it's not a bad looking pen, um, but also I can see where he has improved a little bit in some of his designs. Matter of fact, I kept I, inked up right now is, is a Jim Hines pen. Uh, it's, a, it's an Ebonite pen of his uh, that he had made, and I liked it when I saw it, and I said, I, I'm going to snatch that one up. I love Ebonite. Uh, it is one of my absolute favorite materials for pens. Far, uh, I like it far better than acrylics. This is an acrylic pen. And green wasn't my favorite color, but I figured, you know, the green acrylic with a little bit of smoky black thrown in there. All right, let's go ahead and give it a shot. 
So you take a look at it, it's got a big industrial heavy duty clip on it. I mean, there is no mistake in that clip, and uh, it's got enough space in there, it's going to fit easily into anybody's pocket, and it's not going to bend or snap or break on you at all. So taking a look at our finial and the cap band down here, it does screw out. And there you've got a Jim Hines branded 1.5 stub nib. Now just recently I have been uh, experimenting with and uh, I've been liking, uh, hence the experimentation, uh, more with a 1.1 stub. So, uh, and that's uh, that, that Schmidt converter came with that particular pen by the way. Uh, but I've been writing a lot more with 1.1 stubs and have been enjoying it so I've been playing with some other stubs and my wife happened to have purchased for me a uh, calligraphy set for Christmas so I was playing uh, with some 1.5 1.9 stubs and since this came with a 1.5 nib on it I figured I'd go ahead and give it a risk give it a shot and go ahead and try it out uh, as you look at this particular pen what is a little different is um, because of the girth here it tapers down a little more than I thought it uh, would uh, right here at the end of the pen so it does flare down quite a bit it tapers down an awful lot to a flat here at the bottom but the size of it is decent I like the size of this particular pen so if I'm gonna write with a Jim Hines uh, pen and an unknown model at that um, it actually fits very well in my hand I've been writing with this one a lot too, and some of my pen pals have seen some of my letter writing with this particular 1.5 stub. I'm quite happy with how it feels. I like how it writes in general, but I gotta be honest, I think I like 1.1 better than a 1.5. I think the 1.5 is probably just a little too broad for my personal taste. Let's go ahead and try to post it, and it does go on, but man, I tell you what, that's almost like holding a miniature baseball bat. So that's way too long to post and a little too heavy. But still a decent feeling pen in the hand. But regardless of how good a pen feels, if it doesn't write well, there's no point to it. So let's see how she writes. I decided to fill uh, the Jim Hines special pen, since I don't know what model name to call it, uh, with a Waterman Harmonious Green, because I thought it would go well with the color of the pen. Yes, oftentimes I do match the color of ink to the color of the pen, because I can. So let's go ahead and put uh, nib to paper. You can see that's a pretty broad writing but for a stub nib it actually writes pretty well and pretty uh, and pretty smoothly so this is an unknown model I can tell you I like on the stubbier nibs in the broader nibs I like the way my handwriting is a little better I do like um, how it makes me flow a little better uh, that's one of the reasons why I kind of like the 1.1 stubs but this is a 1.5 stub nib. And it's a little broad for me. But it still writes pretty doggone well. You get a nice, good, thick line, and you can get a nice sideways, very thin line if you want. Can you do the reverse? It's still smooth on the reverse because it is a stub nib, and uh, it does get a little thinner if you want to write with it that way, but you can't really do much beyond that. But I will tell you, If you hold it correctly and you don't go on the sides, because that's you know that's kind of right writing with a stub is you really have to hold it so it's just about perpendicular. But it's a decent writing pen. So obviously, I, I, I'm pretty sure um, that uh, that Jim 
get some standard Yovo nibs and gets those branded um, as such. So um, I, I decided it was worth the money just to give it an experiment to see how I liked an older Jim Hines pen, uh, an unbranded, or maybe maybe he had a model, but I don't even know what model it is. And I said, I contacted Jim, I said, it looks a little like your Zeitgeist, but uh, not really sure. And he didn't really tell me what model it was, if he had one. But he, like I said, he was able to identify this particular pen, remembers making it, and he remembers for whom he made it. So now it's in my hands, and now it's here in front of your computer screen, or your phone screen, however you happen to watch my video. Anyway, um, if I haven't already, uh, is a picture of uh, some of our Jim Hines and family, and uh, I probably does not include though the latest purchase that Matthew ma made at the last pen show we were at, because Matthew's a big Jim Hines pen fan. Uh, from down in Texas, almost makes me want to move to Texas because I've got a lot of friends down that way, uh, and uh, I, I appreciate an awful lot about Texas. Jim Hines special, 15% uh, off all your purchases, Jim Hines pens. So, HinesPens.com.